Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure Intezer to automatically analyze possible phishing emails in an automated fashion through an integration with a SOAR, in this example, specifically through Palo Alto XSOAR. What you see here is Intezer dashboard for automated detection and response. You can see that Intezer receives details, data from live alerts from a variety of sources. These could be EDR solutions or a variety of integrations that can provide information. As you can see in this example, a significant amount of scans are coming from XOR, and you can see that they include, in the end, the analyses of malicious URLs and potential phishing websites. The way this automated flow works is through a playbook in XOR that utilizes Intezer's API. And for each email that we receive to a particular email box, we are able to extract any links and any attachments, analyze them and properly triage that alert. Let's see how that can be configured. First, let's go to the settings page in XOR and search for Intezer or for Gmail. What you will see here is the option to set up a Gmail single user integration. What this provides is the ability to define an email address to which potential phishing emails can be sent by users. When each email is sent, the playbook will be triggered, thus scanning that email for potential phishing links and attachments. Here you need to set up this email box and provide the authentication for this Gmail user. Once you're done with this stage, you can add the integration itself. Again, search for Intezer under settings and you will find the following integration. Here under settings, what you will need to do is simply define your Intezer API key so XOR knows to which account this analysis or this integration belongs to. Once we've done that, you will now have the ability to play Intezer's integration and existing playbooks. So if you go here to playbooks and search for Intezer, you can see that there are several existing playbooks and integrations. What you will need to use is Intezer, analyze files and URLs. Essentially, what you will need to do is create a new playbook that refers to the following playbook. Again, Intezer, analyze files and URLs as a sub playbook. Once this flow is defined, any new email that is sent to this email box will trigger an incident and incidents can be seen here under incidents. I want to show you an example. So an email was sent to this email box and now I want to see what kind of information was collected and what was the decision that was made. So I can see this is the email itself. It came from Microsoft security, password change, and I can see very clearly that it contains a link which repeats itself three times. If I go down, I can see that this is the area of the incident that the link was analyzed. If I expand here under malicious, which was the verdict that was associated with this email, I can see Intezer and additional reputation services that try to analyze this link. Under Intezer, I can see that the email or the link was considered malicious. All of the information from Intezer's analysis exists here, so you can already see the indicators. But let's jump to the analysis itself. Now we can see what kind of phishing website we're talking about. It has an uncommon clickable URL. It has a phishing heuristic and additional indicators that are clearly suspicious. If we click here, we can see in a very clear way that this is trying to look like Microsoft in order to steal credentials. So to summarize, you can go here to the Intezer documentation and quickly set up this very easy flow. What this will provide you is an automated way to react and to triage phishing alerts. What you see here is an example where a specific email box is configured in order to trigger this playbook for each email it receives. Of course, this can also be configured to work alongside your email gateway solution so that any email that is detected through these solutions as suspicious can also go through this layer of automated triage so you can make the decision properly.
Thank you for listening and let us know if you need help or support. You can contact us at any time.